What's up everybody, it's me E-Man from E-Man's Movie Reviews and welcome to episode 12 of The Recap with E-Man as I catch you up on some of the latest news in the entertainment world that you might have missed out on. Now this is not going to be a full episode of The Recap and more so of a bonus one mainly because of this wild and rampant rumor that's been going around about Beyonce and Black Panther 2. Now I normally wouldn't even bother addressing this and probably save it for a later episode but you guys know how I feel about my Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and I've been seeing a ton of clickbait and just all these rumors flying around, and I just could not let it slide. So in this episode, let's just get this all straightened out. According to initial reports, Beyonce was in talks to be doing some projects with Disney. It was reported that it would be about three projects for about $100 million. Now, I actually went back and followed this back to the original source, which was the sun.co.uk, and they said that the singer will appear on the soundtrack for Black Panther 2. Now, right after that happened, this weird thing of, like, the telephone game happened, where other websites and YouTube channels, they jumped on that report and kind of, like, omitted some things and only said that Beyonce's involved in a Black Panther project. Some have gone on to speculate. Beyonce has a role in Black Panther 2. And some have even gone on to say that Black Panther 2 is going to have Beyonce play Storm. First of all, how dare you? Second of all, Storm deserves an actress that can actually act. Third of all, how dare you? Thankfully, senior film writer at Variety has followed up on these reports, and his sources have said that there is no big Disney deal for Beyonce, and that she will not contribute to the soundtrack for Black Panther 2. Whew! Oh boy. Thank you. Look, I've said this many times before. If it sounds too good to be true then you really should question it before you start spreading it or clicking it or just believing it. I'm I'm just saying random websites and memes are not the most reliable places for information. And I am not passing any judgment on anyone because, well, I've fallen for those things before as well. But this is also why I've created this little platform to try and help people out to dissuade, you know, this rampant you know fever of like just jumping on rumors and believing them so all i'm saying is if you see something really juicy like this right take a little time click on the actual website usually they'll highlight where they actually got the information from do another little bit of effort click on that to see where did they get this info from and again if it looks sketchy And no credible websites, I'm talking about like real credible websites, are reporting on it. It's probably not true. As we just saw here with this senior writer from Variety, look, big established, you know, entertainment sites like uh, Variety, Deadline, Hollywood Reporter, they have direct access to the movie studios and the actresses and, and the actors and all those people. They could just pick up a phone and call them and be like, hey, yo, you got a deal? Is this true? Hey, uh, agent, is this for real? Is this happening? And they can report on that. All I'm saying is I would probably believe them rather than some random guy on Reddit or some random YouTuber who's not quoting real sources, by the way. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Um, I will eventually be back with uh, much more fuller episodes of the recap. Unfortunately, given all the recent events that have been going on in our regular society, um, it's been a little stressful. You know, I, I will just be open and honest about that. It's It's been a little stressful and I haven't, I haven't been in the mind space, you know, to just kind of like ignore all the stuff that's going on and just, you know, get to making YouTube videos. It's, you know, I need to take a little self-care sometimes too. So, but don't worry. I absolutely am working on some projects that hopefully you all will enjoy. And I'll be back with the recap videos, hopefully sooner than later. In the meantime, I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.